Hello family, good morning. How are you guys doing today? Sorry about the makeup. I'm walking to work. Well, not walking, I had to catch the bus. But, um, first of all, thank you. Welcome to my channel, Latoya Love here. Um, and I'm so happy to have you guys. You guys inspire me so much. I'm not gonna never give up. You shouldn't either. Right now, just invite the Spirit of the Lord to take control. Help me speak to your children. And God, you get all the glory. You get all the glory. But I want to say, don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't worry about what nobody think about you. Be confident in you. Put your trust in the Lord only, not in man. This is what I don't get, family. All our lives, we've been sitting here trusting man. But it's so hard when it comes to God. Oh, Lord, help us, Lord. Why is it so hard? When it comes to God, family, just like me, my car is at the shop getting fixed. But as you can see, I got on the bus and I made sure I got up at six in the morning. The Uber left me <laughs> up again, again. And I set it for six o'clock, but that's just with life. Sometimes it just don't go as the way we plan. And once again, I got a little upset, but I said, okay. First thing I did, I said, okay, God, you know, I'm not gonna get upset. I was like, what is wrong? You all text me at midnight while I'm asleep saying, your Uber driver will get there at 540. That's not the time I scheduled. I scheduled six o'clock and then you told me it'd be here between six and 615. But anywho, no one called me, no one messaged me. But sometimes we just got to slow down and things happen for a reason. Maybe that's not who God wanted me to, you know, to, who to ride with this morning. Maybe he didn't want me around them spirits. I don't know. But, so I guess what I did. I got on my bus, which thank God my job where I work is down the street. Just like the weather change. Always be alert. Be confident, y'all, in who you are. Don't worry about what nobody think or say. The only person, the only person you need to worry about is God, our Father, Jehovah Jireh, Ahia. Yes, Ahia. You got to go through the sun. I don't know what to tell you if you ain't going through the sun. You got to go through the sun, family. I just want to encourage you this morning and say God loves you. You're beautiful no matter what that man or woman told you. In Jesus name so family I just wanted to say be bold be courageous anything that you need ask God for don't ask the man start remember it's just like if you you're an athlete you're training you got to build you got to get to know him and you can't get to heaven if you don't know him so get to know our father he's truly good and amazing he's the best friend you ever have I'm telling you I'm so in love He's so amazing. Let his spirit, you gotta build just like any other relationship. Now is the time. This is another video, but you know where God took me to this morning when I got up with him before? The book of Revelations talking about uh, the famine and uh, I believe we're gonna have world, where, war, world war three. You know how I know? It's in the Bible. He took me to it this morning. And about a couple weeks ago, there was an old lady. You know them old ladies, they be having a lot of wisdom. But just because you're old, a lot of, some people that's older and elderly don't have wisdom. So it don't matter the age. Look at my last video I just did in Ecclesiastes. In Ecclesiastes, he talks about life. He went on a searching to find, to seek for meaning in things, meaning in life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's through the, I, I'm a, I was a woman who forgot things, but it's because of the spirit that helps me remember. That's why I always say, thank you, Holy Spirit, because he'll bring it to my mind. You have a thought in your head. I'm learning the Holy Spirit. You got to learn the Holy Spirit. You got to know the Holy Spirit. You got to get to know. God, I pray that you teach us to fear the fear of the Lord. Teach us how to fear you. Teach us your principles. Father God, restore to us the joy of salvation and make us willing to obey you psalms 51 12. start rememorizing memorizing scripture family 
Um, I'm on John 14, 26. The advocate, the Holy Spirit. That's what I know. <laughs> oh, I'm learning it. Um, um, and you think you can't do it? And another thing, stop saying you can't. God, you can't. People, that's where God tests your faith. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Job said, you examine my heart each morning and you test me every moment. That's letting me know every morning he examining your heart and he testing you every moment. It's a test. Just like he, I believe he tested me this morning again when the Uber driver left me. So guess what? I didn't get as mad. I was upset. Ain't nothing wrong with getting upset. We're human. But I kind of right down. I was like, whatever, Lord, you know. And I started to read out of one of my little devotionals. If you don't have a Bible, I need to get you one. I need you in that word, okay? And it's okay to listen to the scripture, let it play um, on the voice thingy on your app. But it's good to also read it so that you can sit there and look at it and, you know. But, you know, you know, it's, I like to read it, like listen to it, like when I'm at work and stuff or moving around. And, but I also like to open it because I, when you open it and say, Holy Spirit, I always say, Holy Spirit, give me understanding and revelation of your word. What is it that you want me to get from this? You know, I'm going to go over and break down how to like really study the Bible, what the Lord has showed and taught me. Just know that your life is a test and a t he's going to turn your test into a testimony, your mess into a message. Uh, just know that your life is to help somebody else. We are here to help somebody else. We are made, we are made for God. Now you can either go on a road, which a lot of people on, and he took me to the 12,000. He showed me that I was clearly from the tribe of Judah that I am a Hebrew Israelite. Ask God who you are. We have been lied to, family. And I'm not going to get in that right now, but if you ask God, he will show you. And he's showing quickly. Especially when it got something to do with him and his kingdom. And how um, we're going to be rescued, I believe, by the angel, the 144,000. Uh, out of all these people in the world, only 144,000. So, family, it's time for you to know y'all. Quit worrying about what other people think or say because that makes them your God. When you were about to please man, they are your God. Whatever you put before Yah is your God. So quit making excuses. Quit making excuses. Me too. Get in that word. Quit talking about your kids and you don't have time or you this or you go here. And by the time this, I'm asleep. You make time for work. Period. If you make time for work, you make time to take care of your kids, you can make time for the creator who created you. There's no excuse. And on judgment day, he not going to know you. How you think you're going to get in the kingdom when you don't even know him? You think you know him. That's why he tells us don't argue with fools. Because they don't even know what they're talking about. They don't even know him. And us as the body of Christ, we're to help each other and build. If I say or do something wrong, you come to me and say, hey, Latoya, you know, maybe go back to the Father. It's the way you say it. And I say, okay, I can receive that. But if you go, you need to go back and go to the Father. And you need to, uh, and da -da 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 -da. you know, you jump at a person. A person's going to jump back. Just because you're godly don't mean that you're soft. God needs us bold and courageous. You better look in the Bible, honey. He had people going to war for him. They was killing slaves and knocking down, knocking down, honey. They was warriors. So God needs you to be a warrior. He needs you to be bold and strong and courageous because you're going to have to set your family straight. Would you rather tell your family the truth or would you let them burn in hell, you and your children? So he is causing you to raise up to be the curse breaker in the family. So stop being a wimp. Stop being a wuss. Stop crying about your situation and repent and thank God for your situation now. Be bold, strong, and courageous. Don't listen to what other people think that's talking down on you. Let Give them to God. God got you. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. I love you, family. Like this video. Subscribe to the family. Like this video because the Lord says spread the good news and spread the word. And the more that you like this video, it was a good word, you know, uh, uplifting and encouraging you. So that someone else who is down, um, that's going through it, may need to see this word or hear this word. Father, I put this video and all my videos in your hand. Keep pushing. Family, don't worry about the outside of things. Don't look at the outside exterior. Just like a house that you see that look all beat up when you go inside. You be like, this is beautiful. That's why God said, don't look judge the outside appearance. All these people that you're looking at, they got money, they got this. Look at, say for instance, Cardi B. All you're hearing about is offset cheating on her. Um, 
just think about how much problems they got. Look at Kanye West. And we need to pray for these people. I pray for Kanye. I prayed for him this morning or last night. Kanye, Kim, I pray for their salvation. All our rappers, people, pray for just you, you need to pray for our nations, our leaders. In Jesus' name, pray for this nation because what we about to undergo is not pretty. And if you ain't walking with God, I feel for your for your safety. You're going to be fooled and you're going to probably take the mark of the beast if you ain't trusting God and having faith in him. Come on now, it's so much going to come up right now. Y'all going to need God. And I love you all. Don't get that. Don't mess with that. Um, and if you have, repent. Repent. Don't take offense to what I'm saying. Y'all did not tell you. It's, it's a plague. It's in the Bible. It's a plague. It's a plague. It's meant. Haven't you heard what people are saying about it? It's a plague. It must happen. It's already written. If you look at my video about Ecclesiastes, everything is already recorded and written. Everything is already written, so it's going to take place. It must happen to fulfill the prophecy, to fulfill the Bible. So your life is already written. Accept it and keep walking with Yah. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I love you all. Latoya love. Um, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to spread the word by liking this video. God loves you all, and I'll be back with another encouraging word. Bye-bye.